no, Honda, you're not supposed to do this like every other junky car that wants to explode and leak gas and all this other crap. Gosh. Hey guys, Hersey's Garage here. And as you might be able to tell, I'm a little on the pissed side because uh, on the screen here says it all. Honda recalls 110,000 old Ridgeline pickups for fire risk. And guess what, guys? That's including my year. I have a 2008. Then it looks like it's 2006 to 2014, I believe. Um, and let's get into the nitty gritty on why this is. Gosh, Honda, you're not supposed to be all like those other junky vehicles that just are you park them in the garage and they want to explode on you um all right so here we go here's the the nitty-gritty i wanted you guys to to uh know this because they're going to be sending out i guess notifications august 1st and uh uh so but you'll know if you are under this recall because it looks like uh, it says uh, honda is recalling more than a hundred thousand older ridgeline pickups to address a potential fire hazard stemming from corrosion of the mounting system that holds the fuel tank in place. So basically what this means is that I guess if you are in um, these states, and you can see on screen here, Connecticut, Delaware, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kentucky, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, that's a lot of M's, that's a lot of M's. Uh, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, da 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 down the list. If you are in one of those states, uh, you're probably going to be affected under this recall because it looks like um, if uh, you had some road salt that they used, uh, I guess it would could potentially have rusted your under side of your frame where the fuel tank's at, I guess there's some retention clips or something that hold that on, on there. Um, mine, actually, I don't think is involved in this recall because I go underneath my vehicle all the time to inspect it, make sure everything's all good to go. And it does not have a lick of rust on it whatsoever. So I'm not going to be affected, yay. But like I said, it's entirely possible that uh, yours might be. So that's why I'm doing this video. Um, but, uh, because yeah, cause 112,060 people, I guess, uh, this would affect, uh, let's see, uh, while the issues, uh, while the issue is a fundamentally universal to all Ridgeline models built during this time frame, which I believe, like I said, is the, uh, 06 to 2014, um, the Honda is not recalling every example of the pickup, cause I said it's not in those uh those places where this might have affected your um, frame um, it's targeting only those that were registered in the states that utilize rock salt for winter uh, de-icing which like i said there was a ton and so honda narrowed down the population to the vehicles currently or previously registered in the following states so like i said if on screen here if your uh, vehicle was ever registered in these states you might fall under this this uh uh recall and you could possibly uh looks like you might be able to get a new vehicle if it is bad enough uh and i say this because that's what they've said in this uh article here it says uh, in salt belt states where dic agents are used to maintain the roadway the dic agents along with the mud and dirt accumulated along the rear of the frame where the fuel tank is mounted uh that's where the problem is uh, over time uh, the accumulated de-icing agents, mud dirt mixture could use, cause the fuel tank mounting bands to corrode and separate from the frame. So basically, yeah, what you want to do is, is not wait for these guys and go underneath there and look to see if you have any rust or damage. Um, obviously, uh, you will, um, if you get one of these notices, you're going to want to take it to your, your dealer anyway. But uh, I don't like to wait uh, and 
you know, it uh, gives you a heads up anyway, because it looks like you might not want to drive your vehicle if it's doing some of these, like I guess some of these noises, which yeah, if your gas tank's falling down, you'll be hearing a little bitter batter and, and bitter batter, whatever that is. Uh, you'll be hearing a bunch of crap going on underneath there. Uh, and you could be possibly smelling some gas issues. So it's Honda, Honda says customers should pay attention to noises from the undercarriage rubbing, clunking. Yeah, no, no shit. That may indicate a loose gas tank. Notices have been circulating to dealers and owners who should all be notified by August. And I'm notifying you first, so you won't have to wait till August. Honda will inspect the rear suspension and repair, replace, or reinforce components free of charge if there are any signs of corrosion. In rare cases where the rear end corrosion has advanced beyond the reasonable possibility of repair, Honda will offer to buy back the vehicle from the customer. So like I said, you might actually get uh, some money from your vehicle if it is bad enough. So uh, anyway, like I said, I just had to throw that out there because uh, I had seen this and my initial reaction before I read it was, God dang it, stop making crap vehicles. But uh, lo and behold, uh, like I said, mine is not uh, under this um, because I, I guess the previous owner decided to take care of the vehicle and I definitely take care of my vehicle um, and uh, it doesn't have any rust whatsoever. But like I said, make sure that you check yours because I don't want you driving down the road and uh, then you give me an email saying, uh, or on this video saying, yeah, my, uh, my truck decided to drop its fuel tank. I sure listen to you. So anyway, guys, stay safe out there. And I still recommend the Honda Ridgeline, even though right now it's really, really giving uh, us a, a bad name. So love you guys. Hope you like this video. Tell all your friends that own these trucks and make sure they all know about it too. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.